Hello ladies and gentlemen, Luke Rethke here, and mm, I just figured out why my voice has been so hoarse, and why uh, my dog's voice has been hoarse, and ever since the wood stove, and with the, un the exposed foam insulation, and the stove's kind of close to the camper, and the door, when I open the door, uh, it's only about two and a half feet away from the camper and it gets hot on the aluminum panel on the inside of the door when it's open facing the wood stove to the outside we'll just keep it latched open and then you know the other door is co not quite installed but you know I have kind of a flap that I go in and out of for now uh, but anyway the point of this is that something was melting I think and, the, and it's kind of a weird different smell but you can kind of smell something but not not strong it's just there though and <clears throat> there was some there was some kind of weird videos that I uploaded with weird titles and I was basically live streaming my thoughts in little short segments just whatever came to mind and I was doing it right by the wood stove with bare feet on the dirt and uh so that was the that was a, the second night that I hadn't slept. Uh, I didn't sleep a wink one night, and then the and then the in three days, three nights, and the second night I slept pretty good, and then the and it was warm that night, so I don't think I had the wood stove going very much. And the third night I couldn't sleep a wink, and bugged my neighbor in like three four in the morning. He said, if you need anything, anytime, just call. Just call or just come up. And so I couldn't get a hold of him, so I just came up with my with my diesel and and got a couple of medicated cookies, and I still couldn't sleep. They didn't make me feel much better. I mean, I, I, I think I was basically just w really wired and ungrounded, kind of like. But it was, I think I was jacked up on whatever that fume was to be honest so I just wanted to document that quick now that I've figured it out now that I'm sitting outside in my greenhouse uh, it's it's really it's really not that cold here uh, right now in the greenhouse even though it's 15 degrees outside it's probably you know I don't know 30, 30 degrees there's a thermometer right over here but whew, duh, that was something else oh I wish I could switch this when I'm making a video, but yeah, it's about almost, it's 28 degrees, 27 degrees in here, and it's probably 15 outside, so it feels definitely considerably warmer, and no wind, and the sun's peeking up there uh, behind me. Well, it's pretty, now it's pretty much cloudy and you can't see the sun, but Oh, anyways, and oh, another thing is I was quitting, I was almost there for a few days, I was about done smoking, I mean, I I smoked just very little, but once I started rolling that wood stove, uh, and going inside and staying inside for a while, because it was, it was five below zero, uh, I just couldn't take it, and I couldn't uh, resist the cravings to smoke more and more and and actually that's that's i hear good for your lungs if there's other poisons around it kind of helps to coat the lungs uh with the mucus because it's not really necessarily a natural thing but uh we live in such an unnatural world that it actually does have benefits uh but there's so many chemicals mixed with regular cigarettes that it's really tough to find uh, real tobacco and so I've had a video on that uh, in the past called smokers are tweakers and you can check that out and and uh, it's kind of it's kind of funny there's a comment in there that the guy said I just love tweaking out on those smokes and that was when I wasn't even smoking uh, I had quit for 17 years and then and then uh, I got a kind of a very stressful job I was making some really good money, which is how I bought this land and my diesel pickup and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, you know, you start going down that road and you can't quit. And so 
I took the winners off and just, just put my head down and did it as long as I could. And then when I couldn't, I quit. But in the meantime, I picked up the habit of smoking again after not doing it for 17 years. And so I don't think that had anything to do with pollution. It was just flat out stress. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I guess that's about all I wanted to say on this one for now. Uh, I, I'm going to get these uploaded and, and I've got all kinds of technical issues I'm working with. So I'll just not bore you with all the details and <laughs> we'll see you guys again shortly. Thanks and have a great day.